Good morning. We're going to continue uh, our function summary of a rational function x cubed minus 4x squared over x squared minus x minus 12. And our next property is symmetry. And when we're talking about symmetry in this respect, we're talking about symmetry with respect to the y-axis and symmetry with respect to uh, the origin. Um, so we call that even even symmetry if it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis. We call it odd symmetry if it's respect if it's with respect to the origin. So um, hopefully everyone knows these. If it has even symmetry, then f of negative x will equal f of x, and if it has odd symmetry then, um, well, let me show you something. Then that means that uh, negative f of x equals f of negative x. But I kind of I kind of like this a little better. Notice that's just an equation. If I, multiply, if I divide both sides by negative 1, because this way we can compare it to uh, f of x. If I just divide that both the sides of that equation by negative 1, I get f of negative x. I know this isn't the way it's typically shown in books, but I like it better because then I just take this function, multiply it by a negative 1, look back at this function. I just think it organizes it a little better. I saw a professor do it, Professor Sledge, and over uh, in pre-cal, and, and I like that. Um, so I'm going to do it. Um, so uh, if... if uh, f of negative x equals f of x, then we have even symmetry. If negative f of negative x equals f of x, then we have odd symmetry. So we'll just figure out f of negative x first, and that will give us a lot to go on right there. So f of negative x, uh, negative x cubed is going to be negative x cubed. <laughs> uh, negative x squared is just going to be x squared, so we'll Already, you can see that it's not going to have even symmetry. Uh, this throws it off. So, and then uh, negative x squared is uh, just x squared. Negative x times negative one is positive x. I'm just placing a negative x inside the function. Uh, and then negative twelve, there is no x. Um, definitely does not equal uh, f of x. It looks nothing alike. Totally different function. Uh, uh, well, I don't know about nothing like graphically, it might look something, but I doubt it. But that, anyway, they don't have similar properties. <laughs> it's not the same, that's the important. It doesn't exactly look like it, so it's not it. Um, now, uh, I'll just take this function and multiply it by a negative and see if I get f of x. Uh, so, negative f of negative x, multiplying, uh, why not? multiply through the numerator. You don't you don't multiply through the numerator and the denominator. But if I multiply through the numerator by negative 1, I get x cubed plus 4x squared over x squared plus x minus 12. And that definitely does not equal f of x. Um, you know, if you, if you started out if you wanted to, to do it the, the old way and say, does uh, negative f of x equal f of negative x? Well, you would negative f of x is negative x cubed plus x squared over, um, that's it, uh, negative x cubed over uh, plus 4x squared over the, the same denominator. And that still does not equal uh, this right here because of this that would be a plus and this is a minus. So we have uh, no symmetry, at least uh, no uh, even or odd symmetry, let's put it that way. There might be symmetry somewhere, but I doubt it. Uh, we're not testing for those, we're just testing for even or odd. So no even or odd symmetry, and that's the test for it.